If you want to create a video with cinema-worthy shoots, today it's possible by using Picalabs. We're on our interface. We've chosen the Imavision XL model, etc. Here, still in the running menu, we're going to place a text to image, since we want an image according to our prompt. So here, this is what I put in the prompt. I want to take an image of a shaman in a forest. I want the atmosphere to be quite mystical. I marked mystic shaman, magic forest, by night, dark ambience. And then I didn't hesitate to give the machine really cinematic references by talking to it about cinematic style, in the style of TV shows, high budget, 8K, cinemascope. I'm even talking about grain films. I don't hesitate to give it technical references either with Fujifilm X-T3 by also adjusting ISO 400, by talking about focal length, and then in the negative prompt, since I want a realistic image, I removed everything, this is name, cartoon, graphic, painting, pencil, etc. I removed everything that could distort my image. I specified that I want a super resolution image. Once we have that, we are going to adjust. We are thinking about adjusting the size of our image. So, since we want cinema, we are going to set it to 69. I've set myself in sampling method alert A. I generate. So, here is my shaman, which is rather successful. But, since you never get a super image at first glance with artificial intelligence, I like to generate a lot of them and then do a curation work. So for that, I'm going to set my batch count to 50. And then matching that generates 50 of them. And I'm going to generate my pictures. Let's just see what's coming up. So there are our images right here. And I'm simply going to just open them. And I'm going to sort them out by directly deleting the images that don't suit me. To have one image that uh, suits you, you don't have to hesitate to generate dozens of them and uh, then sort them out. So. I think I'm going to start with this one, which I really like. Once we have our images, now we're going to be able to go to Picalabs to have this cinematic video rendering. Picalabs is on Discord. If you don't have the link, I'll put it in the video description. So we're going to go to Picalabs Discord. I'm going to start a private conversation with Pika. So to animate my video, I'm just going to type in slash animate space. There, it tells me that I can animate my video. I can drop my image, I drag it here, I click on prompt, and here I'm going to type what I want for my image. Since we're with a shaman who's probably going to go for a magic ritual, I want an image that's pretty epic, pretty contemplative. So. I just want slight movement. I'm going to put a slight movement in his hair, in the back of the leaves. So I'm going to simply tell him that. And then what's important in a cinematic video is this very soft camera running. So I'm going to type camera pan left. And then I'm going to tell him also everything I don't want in my video, meaning I want it to be of good quality and I don't want to have any deformation on my character. So I'm going to indicate all of that to him. 
I want a nice light. And so once I have all of that, I'm just going to tap on enter and Pika will edit my video. So it can take some time. So what's interesting to do is to generate several videos to be able to, as before, sort them out. And now I can see the result. It's pretty good. I'll go back to the second one. I can change my prompt here again, bring some changes. I think I'm going to do with this one. By clicking on this little button here, I save it. It will be saved as my download file. So of course, if you don't like it, you can always change your prompt again. Finally, for maximum quality, we use Topaz Video AI. So for that, all you have to do is import your video and set the parameters. So it's important to take into account the type of content you want. For some scenography things, you can usually keep a little bit of natural grain. After that, it's really up to you to make your adjustments for the result you want. Here is the final product. The rendering is quite clean and clear. Everything is done in just a few minutes. Let's do a quick montage with some ambient music. There you go. That's how you can, from a simple image, create a cinematic video using AI. If you liked this tutorial, don't hesitate to give it a thumb up, to comment, to share, and don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel. Stay curious and experiment. See you soon.